Welcome back to the program. Uh, my next guest uh, is an author of the, uh, perhaps best known as the author of The Exorcist. His latest novel uh, is entitled Legion, and uh, in this book he writes about some very peculiar experiences which he claims are based on events from his own life, and we'll be conducting our own little experiment along those lines in a couple of minutes. Please welcome now William Peter Blatty. Thank, thank you very much for, for being here. I guess uh, uh, everyone would agree that um, The Exorcist was an amazing uh, bit of writing, very riveting. Oh, thank you very much. And uh, do you ever get scared when you're writing something that powerfully moving? Does... No, I, I get scared when I, I'm not sure what my third act is going to be. Yeah, that would, that would be a problem. And, uh, nothing but blank pages coming up. Uh, in this book, Legion, there is a, a chapter devoted to some experimentation with a tape recorder and mm -hmm. some voices, mm -hmm. which, as we said in the introduction, came from your own life. Tell yeah, us about yeah, that. Yes, it did. Uh, in 1972, when we were filming The Exorcist locations in Georgetown, someone, somebody gave me a copy of a book called Breakthrough. And it was by a Latvian psychologist who claimed that he could elicit voices from some unknown source by simply plugging a microphone into a tape recorder, making a brief uh, prefatory statement, asking a question or asking to hear his name. And then on playback, although we heard nothing while making the recording, he would hear voices. And I thought, well, why not? And <laughs> I mean, the, the parrot can talk and walk around in a devil costume on the sure, yes. tape recorder. Stranger <laughs> things happen. <laughs> so uh, I tried it one night. And uh, I was living in, in a motel uh, where the planes would overfly almost every minute uh, going into National Airport. And so I, the quietest room was the bathroom. And I plugged in the tape recorder, and I made the prefatory comment that was prescribed by, by mm -hmm. the book, Breakthrough. And I made the following creepy statement. I said, uh, unseen intelligences or entities, this is William Peter Blatty attempting to communicate with you. Uh, I would like especially, uh, if she's there, to hear from my mother. And then I turned it on to full volume and uh, pushed play and record and walked out. And three minutes later, I picked it up and brought it outside. And I put the earphones on and I started to listen. And after my comment, I suddenly sat up like I heard something. And I went back. And, and it got louder the second time. And the third time, unfortunately, what I heard was, did you hear that? It was the man in the adjoining bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Martha, uh, the devil guy is next. <laughs> Pack the bag. Well, I made about another half hour of a tape, and I played it back uh, rather attentively, and I didn't hear a darn thing. Nothing. And a few days later, I played the same tape again, and somewhere in the middle of it, I heard some, just a very subtle sound. Clicking? And, yeah, well, yeah. it wasn't quite a click, but it was, it was very low level and buried down underneath the amplifier. Mm -hmm. And I kept repeating and repeating, and finally, with every repetition, a voice began to come. At least I thought so. And I heard my name, as though it were being shouted by a man a great distance away, William. And then later in the tape, I heard something that valleyed. It was a woman's voice. And it went down like that, da, 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 I couldn't understand the mm -hmm. first part. Then what up continued to hear us? Well, I kept doing experiments, and I kept thinking, well, maybe I hear something, maybe I don't, maybe I'm super. Well, let me interrupt here and ask yeah. you a couple of questions. Sure, so you, you actually did get a response to your... Yeah, I did. Okay, I now, did. Uh, <laughs> were there discussions on the tape, or just a word here and a word there? No, there were, there were statements yeah. here and there, yeah, very banal, nothing terribly interesting. Did you, did you ever have these things uh, authenticated, or have anybody check them, or, oh, I mean, oh, it could sure. be an old tape well, maybe that's yeah. bleeding through, or...? No, it wasn't finally until we went to New York City, and one night I, I did a little experiment. I thought I heard my mother's voice just saying, Willie, and uh, I got a tingle again, thinking about it. Every time I played it, I got that tingle up my spine. So I went to our sound man, Chris New, and I said, Chris, you must take me either to... Uh, the best Park Avenue psychiatrist you know of, or to a professional mm -hmm. recording studio. And let's find out if I'm sim superimposing sense onto, you know, the sounds and noises that are just indigenous sure. uh, to tape recording. So what did you come up with? We went to Magno Sound, and uh, we made a recording, and we got, we got something very encouraging. It wasn't until the last night of filming. Uh, only Neil Fallon, the Magno Sound engineer, and I were there. 
And I asked a, a direct question to which I, I asked that the answer be simply the word affirmative or negative. Mm -hmm. And we got something very, very, I mean, relatively very mm -hmm. loud and un unmistakably a voice, but it was like a gargling. It wasn't until three years later when I was setting up some stereo in my new home in California that uh, I, I saw the boy from Henry Raven said, yeah, young man, you have very young ears. Would you listen to this tape? And he did. I said, did you hear something? He said, yeah, there's yeah. somebody talking. Okay, let me, I'm going to have to interrupt you here again. Oh, sure. We're going to do a commercial. We'll come back. Okay. Uh, not only will we continue this discussion, but we're going to listen yeah, to some of these we'll tapes, and then tape. we'll do the other thing. Okay. All right, now the, the uh, tapes in question, are those right, the ones we're going to listen to now? Yes, the first one, uh, that's the one that we made at Magno Sound on the last night. And that one, when played at twice the speed at which it was recording, sounds to me like a, an answer to my question. Okay, I, I'll and tell you, you, ask what a, I, you ask an answer, a question? Uh, I asked for either the word affirmative or negative. Now, anyone at home is going to have to turn the volume all the way up. There's a tremendous amount of amplifier and mm -hmm. white noise. We and find that, that folks that, at home watching the show generally have it all the way up anyway. They do. So, <laughs> they have to hear it from the No best. problem. Okay, now, uh, I guess we should be very quiet to hear this. Oh, yes. Okay, let's, uh, let's go ahead and uh, turn it on there, and this is one of those tape recordings. Well, I hear affirmative, can you hear me? And I think if we played it 10 more times, if you don't have time for it, you might hear the sound. No, I don't, I don't mean to be... <laughs> I, I heard nothing. I Actually, it just seemed like some kind of pulsating, uh, you know, white noise. You want to hear them again? Can we do them again? Yeah, but louder, please. Louder. All right. Can we listen to... Did anybody hear anything on that tape? Well, you pretty much convinced them, Bill. They... <laughs> no, I don't think I Okay, have. here we go again. <laughs> Oh, yeah, all right. Now, yeah, can you hear me? <laughs> now it, it, over the years, I, 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 you know, noodled around with this as a hobby. Okay, let me, very, let me interrupt you, know, you again here. Now, who, sure. assuming we are listening yeah. to something on the tape, who yeah. is it? Oh, I have, it, no, I have no idea. Who, have, would you, who do you think it is? Uh, well, I can tell you some very clear answers that I've heard over the years to the question, you know, who, where are you? Mm -hmm. What is your condition or state of being? I've heard limbo, dead. So it's possible it's, that these are spirits from dead uh, people? I don't know who they are, but they say it's like a hospital. It, we're all treated here. They say that to you, the voices? Yeah, are, yeah. Do, well, that's what I think I hear, Dr. Angels. And uh, very recently I heard one that said, I don't belong here. So I get definite impression that they're, that they're in some kind of cosmic institute for the very, very nervous. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you recognize voices? No, I don't recognize any voices. Do, but, but they have oh, different. Do they quality. have a sense of humor? Do they be able? Or do oh, they? Oh uh... yeah, yeah. They, they are. Once I asked directly, look, have I got this right? Are you in, in some kind of transitory state where you're getting therapy, uh, where you're healing mm -hmm. your psychic wounds? And I thought I heard uh, a male voice saying, "Yes, we're all crazy. You're fine, though." Hmm. <laughs> But talking to the no, tape no, wh why, uh, uh, why would they speak English? I have no, well, I speak English. I know, but... I have but, no, but, David, I don't know what, it, I don't know, I don't say it's a psychic phenomenon, I don't say it's paranormal. Yeah. I just say it's very, very puzzling. And anybody could do this? Yeah. I'm no curious. special equipment? No, 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 okay. anything. We're going to try it now. Oh, we're going to listen to another tape. Yes, may, okay. I, may, just one word about this. This is a response to the question, does God exist? And you'll hear two tapes. The first one is okay, the answer I got at normal speed. All right, here we go. We're going to do the experiment. I'm sorry, we're apparently oh, really? not going to play the other tape. Okay, so uh, if you can, just explain again what is required here. We have a microphone, yeah. we have a tape recorder, and yeah. you make some sort of statement no, at the I'm beginning. No, I'm not saying Turn it up to your uh, microphone to maximum volume. Uh, let it run for, I don't know, 30 seconds, as long as you want. Let's hear if we can hear the word David or Letterman or David Letterman. Okay, Let's so you, we're asking to hear from these folks. Uh, yeah, we're asking to hear your name specifically. Okay. Uh, ask them also if they know when I'm going to get cable. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, the, the audience should be very quiet, right? Yes. All right, so for what, 20, 15? 15, 15 seconds. seconds. Okay, be very quiet. Quiet, please. This will be a lot of fun. We're recording.
Okay, Dave. All right. Now play it back at maximum volume, please. Maximum volume. Now, in all fairness, you could hear people in the hall. In and, all uh, fairness, give them more than 15 seconds. It takes a little longer. Okay, so now let's hear what we got from the, the test there. Yeah, sound like a sea lion. <laughs> oh, you did. You, you, you know, you did. Well, regardless, of, regardless of what that was, you do. You do think you hear something there. I don't know. I, uh, yeah, no, I, I, I agree. Somebody might like have murmured in the audience. We, we got to go. We're. Uh, I'm sorry. We'll be right back. Sure. Though. William, thank you very much for being here. It's uh, very interesting, fascinating things. A pleasure thank to be you, here, sir. David. Thank uh, you. Also, my thanks to Marv Albert, Alba Ballard, and her parents, uh, Paul and the band, Mr. Bill Wendell, our announcer. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow night, folks. Thanks for everything. <laughs>